All right. All right. <clears throat> PRL, prove real love. All right, let's see what this is. Prove real love. Tell me about this prove real love. And then it says, you have to PRL before we fuck. You have to prove that you love me first. Not let's do that first. And then we'll see. Maybe that's the way we've been doing shit, Buffo. This could be a detective. It actually could be a detective. But I think this is just you saying, I see you. And I can tell by the way you're speaking to me that you don't love me or that you don't have the ability to love right now where you're at in life. I don't feel like us having sex is going to change that. Maybe this is how I viewed shit before, but I see peekaboo, I think you. And I guess this is why you just uh, invest in yourself instead. I love myself. I can do that to myself if I want to. <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if there's somebody who just wanted a one night stand with you. Maybe you're all right with that. Maybe you're not looking for love. Uh, maybe somebody thought that you, that's what you wanted from them and they knew that they, I think once they did, once they, once you guys did that, it would have been something different. But Pisces. Yeah. All right. Is there a pregnancy here? Uh, there was a one night stand or a, a, a fling type of thing. And there's a female who's going to try and play like they're pregnant. They, 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 all right, somebody didn't call somebody back or respond. The, the mindset was, I don't know if they needed to take their mind off something, whatever. I'm going to do this and... I'll be able to feel whatever this is I felt before and they didn't it did nothing and now somebody's pissed off about it. there's a female that's pissed off about this and I wouldn't be surprised if why why did this thought pop in my head someone's this methodical they could have slept with multiple people the female slept with multiple people tell me somebody intentionally slept with a bunch of other guys and let them inside so that she could get pregnant and it would be like oh well it's the timing is perfect i mean we were together this time but he's not the only one that she slept with and she slept with the world god damn it i mean darling you're gonna have to clear see how this chicken here is closing her legs she's out there crossed like that yeah when you do that you don't this shit don't happen <laughs> uh you know what somebody may not have even slept with this female this could be a setup of making it someone feel like, yeah, you don't remember? We were drinking, we were all fucked up, and this happened. It almost feels uh, staged. Maybe the, uh, the person is the type of person where they have to feel something for somebody before they do that. And she wasn't used to that. They could even have video it could be a body double a, a video or uh, pictures or something of them doing some shit just to make this pregnancy seem more legit mm, yeah I, I guess he turned maybe he didn't want to he turned her down because he wasn't feeling it and she felt some kind of way about that uh, he could have just not explained, and so that made her more angry. Like, he don't owe you an explanation. He doesn't owe you an explanation for why he wasn't attracted to you. And she got pissed off about that. He could have possibly been in love with somebody else. And that pissed this broad off completely. Mm. Uh, and the person that he is in love with is beautiful. It would have, I, I guess it would have been different if the person was unattractive, less attractive than this female. 
he didn't want to do this. He could have been like this, a player, and she's used to this. Is this someone that she knows personally? Or a neighborhood thing, community thing. And she was trying to hold on to this guy. He's different though. This would have worked in the past. Whatever, whatever way that this female does this, it, it would have worked with this man in the past. He could have been the type of guy where, like, well, I mean, that's better than nothing, you know. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't feel unattractive. He's just not, it's, she's not his type or anymore. Okay, maybe this, this would have been his type before. Okay. Talk, give me, give me one, another one of these, please. Your child is so proud of you. Well, that's always a good thing. Just, your child could be proud of you because you respect yourself. There, maybe he sees or she sees a difference in the type of woman that you are and the type of, or, or man, if this is for a man that's celibate or just respecting their body or loving like my ass. <laughs> okay. Tell me about this. Your child or children are so proud of you. shutting it down <laughs> you won't you won't uh, work with anybody or deal with anybody that you know passes judgment on you I don't feel like you even care about people trying to get a reaction out of you or, or smear your name I feel like you handled it very gracefully and your child I don't know how maybe before you would have popped off or fought back or you're handling shit now this could be your family too that that did nothing but judge you um, the way that you cut them off or if they cut you off the way that you handled it that's what it is and, and then you kept moving on maybe your family thought you were going to be stuck without them in your life that you were going to have a hard time moving on without them but you moved towards something that you're destined for and it made it easier for you to walk away from them. You realized you were destined for something. And then you had some kind of transformation, like a complete 180. Die without you. But I don't feel like this is a relationship. I feel like this is a family group that they really thought you would just crumble without them. You'd be stuck in life. But you healed from a lot of shit. This just exposed, all it did was expose, bring light to the fact that you were loyal to these family members. That's all, they realized that once you weren't there anymore, possibly a father. Uh, you could have had a father that, I don't know if you were the first born with the Page of Cups. You could have felt like your relationship was strained. Like he, tur he, he turned his back on you. And just kind of like, like it was you against the world, really. It's, this is for me, this is turning you back on the world. Maybe you did this. So it wasn't just your family members. It was just you turning your back on everybody because you knew that. It would have cut into whatever this is, this this healing, this path you're on, this blessing that you know you're supposed to receive. You could have been a little, a little mentally stuck. Hold on. I don't know if you were on depression meds or anxiety meds. You freed yourself from this or you are in the process. When you were going through some kind of struggle too. So that's that's strong in itself. And it could have been you and someone else doing this together. You think you're better than me, don't you? My father opened, okay. Well, 
There could have been somebody that you were friends with or that you dated, whether it was in the present or the past, that was even uh, talking mad shit on you because they felt left out in the cold from you in a relationship. But this was a toxic relationship. You you were everything that this person wanted and they cheated on you. They, they broke your heart or they, you were hurt by this person with some kind of karmic female. They did this just to get a rise out of you is what it feels like because they are actually a, a lesson for you. This person is constantly um, trying to find independence through mother type females. They like to be taken care of. They married some female for, for money or her family had money or there was a business uh, involved. There, all right, if this was an ex, he did this to try to get a rise out of you or to say, I got better than you whatever and the female could have impulsively got together with this person because she didn't want him going back to you but they both were doing it for the wrong reasons and then, and then boom now there's this tower moment there could be a Sagittarius involved but this is ancestors causing a tower moment this person was trying to hold on to you the whole time she could feel that he was never really invested in this relationship or this marriage she I don't think they had the same dynamic that you guys had, the same conversations. Okay. You get a lot of attention, and I feel like this person was struggling to commit to you because you took the attention off of him, or what am I going to do? Am I going to marry this person? And then every time they are not with me, I got to worry about somebody secretly trying to date them or hook up with them this is somebody that you are married to in a past life and uh, they're very they're manipulative they're they're a very good manipulator you learned the truth about something and you left i feel like you did this quietly because you were grateful you found this out i don't i don't think there was a big fight or anything that would have been regretful I think you just put your boundaries up and uh, took it as a loss right it, it's all right so this is this is an L and then you had a new opportunity for a new life somewhere else but your addictions were out of control okay I think you, you wanted to, or this person wanted to move forward from this. This could be an Aries or a water sign or a Virgo, but they never got over this. You cut this person off completely and, and started working on yourself. I think you realized when you were with this person, uh, you were be mirroring them. If they were narcissistic or cunning, and kind of methodical, uh, you could have found yourself playing head games that you normally wouldn't have played with this person and I think that you took it as a lesson and they didn't they didn't see it that way so the, the fact that both of you were looking at this differently you thought that it was over and maybe because you didn't hear from this person but it wasn't over for them okay let's get one of these uh, tell me more other people underestimate you People should consider an honor to be flipped off by you. That's what it was. No one had a bad word to say about you. This is a man or a woman. They're jealous of the opposite sex. Depending on what kind of person it is. But you you took attention away. This, uh, when this person was around their friends, they could have been that person that walks into the room and all eyes on them or they're the room changer or they change the vibe in the room and then you came around and all the attention went to you and they didn't really know how to handle that yeah it was a, a childish uh, just immature uh, yeah you know that this person just like to have control that's all I don't really want you back because I know I'm not good enough. I want to be able to say that I'm the one that cut off though. You left me or you're the one that, that was it. Firm. And I'm usually the one that does that. 
if I feel like my relationship or even a friendship is in jeopardy, I will be the one to sabotage it so I can get the last laugh. Queen of Pentacles, you could be an earth sign or you're just a strong love. This person never experienced anything like that before. They were only attracted to looks, though. I don't think they even knew what you really brought to the table until you didn't bring it to the table anymore. You brought it to someone else's table, possibly. Let's say you were going through a difficult time and your looks deteriorated. Uh, this person wouldn't have been so inclined to to put so much thought and energy into this. But you went on a different path. Pisces. I don't think you have any secrets either. You see the mind games? And that, that is how this person attacks through spilling people's personal life. Queen of Swords, I, you're an, oh, I think you put your own shit out there. I am, this is what I do. I do this, I did that, da da da. Very private yet open book. If that makes sense. I, I don't feel the need to put my cell phone blast or I don't require a whole lot of attention. You got attention naturally. You didn't have to force it. And I think that whoever he is, he's used to being with females that require a whole lot of attention. Okay. This, you know, I don't know what it is you do for work. It could be spiritual work. Somebody could have thought that you were doing black magic or that you were of the dark. Hmm. Compulsive liar, though. They could have said you did some kind of bondage or that you did certain things in the bedroom that you didn't do. But I think however you are in the bedroom that was the most attractive thing to this person your looks and how you were in the bedroom. They could have lied to your father even. Hold on. There's a fake cop here that lied to your father about something. And this guy was behind it to try to sabotage you. They wanted to attack you for you turning your back on them. This, the, I, I don't know, this could be the person that started targeting you. Instead of just having a conversation and reaching out and, and clearing the air, they handled this the wrongest way possible. And they thought you were going to be like this. How come you're not like this and I'm like this? I don't get like this. What are you talking about? Like, usually, I, get, I the reason I don't get like this is because I'm the one that breaks up. You hear me? <laughs> Uh, uh, there's a karmic female friend of his that he made a bad judgment call uh, I don't know if this is who he cheated with it could have been a friend and then they hooked up and they were drinking or something like that this, this was woman was mimicking you. I feel like she knew who you were and she was trying to embody certain traits of you. Taurus, Gemini, Libra. This woman could have tats on her arm or you do. She was going through something with a husband or maybe a rough time. And the husband could have even said nice things about the, the, the this person, like you, whoever you are, the female. The husband even said some nice things about you. And maybe he wanted to leave. 
it feels like every time somebody tried to get you or I'll get it this time or I'll, I'll get a reaction out of them this time, they could have thought uh, intentionally wanted to put rumors out there that they hooked up with certain people just so it would get back to you so they could get that reaction. It feels like narcissistic supply. You cut off narcissistic supply to this person. <laughs> uh, balance. This, when you were in this person's life, when you were in their life, their life was better. Heart chakra. They actually opened up their heart for the first time with you. And things started going well for you and this person. And then you were a strong presence. You wouldn't submit. This person likes women to be submissive or put, put invoke fear or to get them not to leave. Instead of just being honest and loyal, they did it the wrong way. But the throat chakra, you spoke up and said how you felt in certain situations and they're not used to that when they when they date people. And this caused some kind of disruption with this person. Like, what do you mean you're telling me? You're, te you're being told the truth, sir. Hmm? Let me get a demon card. They'll never find somebody like you ever again. One in a million you. Yeah, it's more like a billion flaga. You saw red flags. This could have been short fuse, little things making this person pop off. They could have put their hands on you. The shit that they said, that kind of shit you, you don't forget, it sticks. And then they want you to forget about it. But then when you say something in return and you stab them somewhere where it hurts, they never let you forget about it. What is this flag? <clears throat> Focus on clearing away debris, physical or mental obstruction. You left and, and never hurt after that. This person was furious about that. The whole time they were hiding how they really felt about it. And I don't know how they were hiding. I get they have their own way of doing that. But they wanted you to feel the way that they felt. And your life got better or you just didn't, you just didn't have a reaction like they wanted you to. So this made them even more angry. They were even possibly checking up on you or following you or having people follow you so that they could see if you talked about it. Let's say you, you went to the bar or a club or they would send somebody there to try to befriend you to see they would and, and it could even have been like this start conversations about an ex i want to see what they say i want to see if they say that they're upset or that they miss she misses me or her if this is for a guy they this really bothered this part yeah they never got over this uh they regret juggling you big time if I could turn back time. I take back all the words that I hurt you. And they were still, you denied. And then so they were trying to figure out ways to cause endings. They could have even spoke to guys that were interested in you and they lied about why you broke up, things that happened during your relationship. They, they for someone, they even said that you gave them an STD, that they found men in the house when they came home. Uh, but it's, it's a lie. You, you being in this person's life, they became more confident about themselves. Their self-esteem grew. Uh, they were having some kind of spiritual battle. I don't know if this is addiction or just things that happened in their life. You, you help them with this. You're a very good conversationalist. They were possibly dealing with a breakup prior that was nasty. You help them deal with that or just you being you help them deal with that. You knew that this was toxic, or your higher self knew this was a trauma bond. I don't know how you met through trauma of some sort. You both could have been dealing with breakups from other people. You weren't healed yet. Yeah. 
lesson. Hold on. Both on the wrong path. Uh, it was instant attraction is what I feel. Instant attraction, but it was the wrong attraction. It wasn't for the mind or what's inside. It was physical attraction, sex, flirting, the beginning stages of the relationship that are exciting. And this could have lasted longer than normal because it was based off of that. But you were having a hard time having a genuine connection with this person because secretly this person was competitive. They could have, um, let's say you're in a situation and you're having conversations with a group of people. You were very honest about things. You wouldn't sugarcoat to make them look better, but you would also do the same for yourself. They saw this as a threat. If you're in a group of people and you were, you're, a very, you're very good when it comes to speaking, you, you vibe with people and your words mean something. This person wanted that all to themselves. If I could keep you in a box, that's what I would do. Because you, you change the lives or you have an effect on all of my friends and they actually like you and they didn't normally like women that I dated or men that I dated and they liked you. So they had to lie about you. They even lied about you to try to get their friends not to like you. It's because this was never supposed to be what it was. This, this was a lesson. This was somebody that you were supposed to cut this cord with from a past life. And, and then you walked away or they did. Someone walked away and then everything died around this person. This person died, was dying inside when you did this, but they were playing. They were constantly playing happy every time they were around people. It, this, was a, this was their own battle, uh, inner battle, because instead of just allowing themselves to admit that they were hurt, people could see that it was bothering them, though. They just don't. This is the kind of person where you can't say what you feel around them. They'll pop off. The, don't what the fuck you mean you can tell what's bothering me is nobody said anything yeah this is beautiful um, you decided to uh, invest in yourself and that's why it was so easy for you to get over this whatever this is you I don't know if you're like this every time you break up you could be the kind of person where you're not clingy that you're just okay whatever I mean I may go through it I may get upset once in a while but you're not a chaser you're not someone who begs someone to come back and that's what they're used to uh, and I they could have thought it was an act the whole time and that's why they didn't let it go like, nah they'll be back and like I know they're gonna come back because I mean they always come back Especially if I manipulate and if there's a social media platform, they could have posted pictures, uh, made it seem like they were here hanging out with this one, tagging this one. Yay. Right. Oh, yeah. Real love. Falling asleep during sex. Is that what they said? That you were boring in the bedroom? That's the one thing that they loved about you the most, ironically. And that's the, that's the one thing they lied about the most because they know that most guys feel the same way. Uh, it's the physical attraction. So if they would have, if they said this around guys, they know that the guys that where they're at today in life, and most is, uh, there would have been a turnoff. That's what they said. Had to wear makeup to hide a hickey. They said you cheated. They could have said you had hickeys or I don't know. I, I think I had one in my entire life. I can't stand that shit. But they, um, uh, they could have said that you would come home with hickeys or that you were out with other guys. Uh, tell me about this. You could be a tarot reader. And they didn't. They didn't want you to have an opportunity. They knew that you would have multiple opportunities if I if I just let this person go and and just okay it is what it is 
Do you know how many people are going to want to scoop this person up? This person gets so much attention. I can't stand it. You took the attention off of me. I can't get over the shit. They said they left you. Yup. Uh, that you were violent. That you're, you're crazy. You're crazy. She stole my car or crashed my car. Or, uh, flattened my tires. Keyed my car. They could have said that... Uh, you, you even smelled the, uh, uh, paper cups. This is so immature. Uh, the mindset of, of, of him or her is so... Uh, uh, infantile. Yeah, and, and uh, wow. Well, they could have even lied to your child about some shit, and your 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 kid could be totally disappointed to find this out now. Uh, yeah, they just couldn't let it go. They couldn't let it go. So now where are we at, though? I, I just want to see what, what this was happening on loop. All right. In order to love who you are, you can't hate the experiences that shaped you. You saw this as a lesson. That's how you viewed it. What's my perception? This isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. Got it, universe. I keep dating these kinds of guys or, or girls, and I get nowhere with them. Maybe I need to change myself. Maybe I was attracting these types of guys and girls because that's where I was at. You looked at it from a very mature perspective and this person just couldn't do that. Anything truly cool about you was created from the life you live. Remember that when you start to wind down the shame spiral, no time is wasted, no love is wasted. So you didn't see this as a waste of your time you saw it as something that was going to help you grow and change for when you have relationships in the future and because you weren't where this other person was or how they viewed it it became a problem and I'm guessing that there's a lot of bullshit that was happening in your life or even people that wanted nothing to do with you and it was because this of the way that this person viewed your breakup or your split or whatever it was all right well I don't know I guess perspective is really that important uh, the miscommunication that happens when two different people are looking at a situation completely differently. We're not going nowhere. Love you. Fill you out.